Hello and welcome to another Math with Miss V video. In this video, we will make predictions using probability. In previous videos, we looked at how to find probability of simple events and the difference of theoretical and experimental probability. And in this one, we will use that knowledge to make predictions. We'll be looking at standard 37 SP6, specifically focusing on predict the approximate relative frequency given the probability. So let's just jump right in with our examples. The first one, we're using theoretical probability. And it says the probability of heads given 100 coin flips. So theoretically, the probability of heads is one out of two. We want to predict, given 100 coin flips, how many times will it land on heads? And we can go ahead and see that this is setting up a proportion. And if you'll remember, we saw proportions by cross multiplying. So we get 2x equals 100. We're going to divide by 2 because that's the number with our variable. And remember, when we have a number and a variable together, that means multiplication and we undo multiplication with division. And so x equals 50. So we would expect heads to land face up 50 times if we were to flip a coin 100 times. Okay, our next one, the probability of a two given 90 dice roll. So we know the theoretical probability of a two is one out of six. The two is one out of six possible sides. We want to predict how many times we would get the two given 90 rolls of the dice. So again, we're going to cross multiply. We end up with 6x equals 90. We're going to divide both sides by 6. x equals, let's see, 6 goes into 9 one time with 3 left over. Uh, 6 goes into 35 times. So we would expect if we rolled a dice 90 times, it would land on 2 15 times. In our next set of examples, we're going to use experimental probability. So we've already run an experiment, and we're going to use that to predict another experiment. So our first one says a dice is rolled 10 times and it lands on five, three of those times. Okay, so our experimental probability, the total number of trials was 10 and we got five, three times. Predict how many times it would land on five if you rolled it 200. Okay, and we wanna know how many times it would land on five based on our smaller test. So again, this is a proportion, so we're going to cross multiply. Uh, so we have 10x equals 600, divide by 10, divide by 10, x would equal 60. So we would expect 60 out of the 200 trials, it would land on five based on the 10 times we've already rolled the dice. This next one, the letter A is randomly picked out of the word name 16 out of 30 times. That's our experimental probability. We've picked a letter 30 times and 16 of them have been the letter A. Predict how many times it would be chosen out of 150. So we're going to now predict if we did this 150 times, how many times would we get the letter A? We're going to cross multiply. We'd get 30x equals 16 times 150. That's a bit bigger than what I can do in my head. So 150 times 16, we get 2,400. We're gonna divide that by 30, divide by 30. We get that x equals, um, I know I can cancel a zero. Three goes into 24 eight times with a zero left over. So we would expect out of 150 pulls of a letter from the word name, 80 of them would be the letter A based on our smaller experiment. And that is how you use um, 
probability to make predictions. I will link my video uh, going over solving proportions in the notes and you should see it popping up so that if you've forgotten proportions, you can review there. Thanks for stopping in with this Math with Miss V video. I look forward to seeing you in the future.